That's it. That is it. Oh, crikey. That's the big common. This week, the whole team was at my house and we had a lot to get on with. Beautiful Savion Blanc. I'd also planned a fishing trip on the weekend to a special venue, which holds a particularly massive carp. <laughs> so did you see this footage? Yes. This is what you're going to be editing when you get home. <laughs> oh really? What? what? Which, which one? Because I'm shooting there and then you're oh, filming me. you got twice as much editing to do now. <laughs> I think the only person who won't be happy about the launch of this new vlog channel is Cal. Hello darkness, my old friend. Because <laughs> he is the one who's going to be doing 90% of the editing on it. Every day there's editing to do and bucket loads of it. So I'm going to crack on with editing. Tom's editing there, Omi's painting and Cal is filming for the next fishing tutorials video. Wow, that was a mouthful. Got a message I've been waiting for for a very long time. It's only John B. It's been a while since we fished with this guy and I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh look, he said, let's lock in those days. So that means this year, between the 2nd and 9th of October, I'm gonna be fishing for these striped bass. To say I'm excited for that is definitely an understatement. I've been desperate to go out and fish for striped bass in America for a long while. We actually did a trip, 2018 I think it was, which was very difficult. I didn't even manage to land a single striped bass myself, but this time we're gonna be going with John, who is definitely a local expert and someone I've wanted to fish with since we were with him many, many years ago on our England and USA road trips. <laughs> I'm just making it look busy for the vlog. <laughs> as soon as I put the camera away, you're on your phone or looking out the window or playing with the dog or the fish. It's all right, I'll do the same. I forgive you, we're all human, apart from Cal. Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> How you doing? I wasn't talking about you. One, two, three, four. I've... So we're gonna have dinner today at my parents' house because, wait, what are we celebrating again? We're either celebrating something I did or something Alex did. I think you did it. 480,000. 480? Yeah. That's a big number. A big Almost number. half a million. Oh, half a million. We're going to have to have a proper party for that one. What are you going to do? I'm going to drink Three Ru beers. Rubicon. No, Rubicon, no. actually. And this will be the first time that the full team have all been in one place. Ooh. And my brother and my dad included. <laughs> Mum and Dad's house is still the base for the family. It probably always will be. This is where we go when we're sad, when we're happy, when we're celebrating, and when we are hungry. <laughs> Here, Cal, do you want oh, one of those? Yes, please. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, mind you, where did the food break? Cole's a nutter, isn't he? He's just an absolute nutcase. Nutty nutcase. He's an absolute almond. Alex, you've stolen my I've stolen it. Alex. Alex, 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 no, no one on my channel wants to see that. <laughs> my mum hates being on camera. We need to, we need to introduce you to If she realises that I'm filming her, she freaks. My two favourite ladies in the world. Look, she's going to realise. Happiness. What are you cooking? Well, here I have some chips. And here I have a salad. And I'm making two salads because I can have more salad. And I'm going to put some bacon and halloumi on it. And then in this thing here is a fish pie. Oh. With fish that I caught from the ocean the other day. Ah, uh, I wondered whether you would like brought those. Were they bass? They were bass, yeah. So is it a bass and mackerel pie or just bass? Just a bass pie. Must have been a good session. It was a very good trip. I'm actually really proud of my dad. I know it's supposed to be the parents that are proud of the kids, but it's the other way around in this case because my dad's been a gardener all his life. He's been obsessed by plants and clearly very motivated in the same way that I am about fish. He's so passionate and obsessed with plants and how they work and how they grow and where to put them and how to look after them. So for my dad to come from very little financially uh, and actually work incredibly hard through his life to be able to one day see himself with a garden like this 
to call home. That is why I'm very proud of you, Dad. Despite the fact that I take the mick out of you all the time and we are definitely not always getting along, I do love you and I'm proud of what you've achieved. We'll let you do your own because you're very strong. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's been telling you, hey. Um, Would you like to agree with that or some ice cream? So, Alex, what can I get for ice cream. you? Clotted. So it's not got any carpet. <laughs> <laughs> There's Danny when we need Got him. <laughs> you hit my camera. Bro. Bye. Give, give us a wave. You know you want to. Did we lock someone out? Oh, is Hannah still out there? Yeah. Tom, you locked your own no, girlfriend I... out. <laughs> no. Sorry. I thought we were all home. Yeah. We should stroke me like that when we're out fishing. <laughs> no, cut. Cut. <laughs> and there's Tom. My man. <laughs> Still working. Better get at least 100,000 views or else Cal will be having a word. <laughs> I don't know how that video got 100,000 views. I yeah. caught like very Still small carp. Yeah. Well, I barely even caught a carp. But you put your girlfriend in the thumbnail. And also, having her with you meant that there was actually fish in the video too. Yeah, yeah. It's what happens though. You want the thing you can't have. Mm -hmm. It's just life. I don't know, I had three desserts today. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all. We're about to go and film a fishing tutorial in the supermarket. I'm very excited. No, you're not. I'm very nervous. What do you need first, Cal? Um, get in the car. Get in the car. Get on the ground. Sweet corn. Definitely my weapon oh, of choice. That was really bad. Because <laughs> it's my weapon of choice. <laughs> and whilst you're here buying your carp bait, this shop is actually incredible because you can also get a meal deal. If you've got a sweet corn and tuna, you could use the bread for surface oh, fishing. You could yeah. use the sweet corn for bottom bait. And tuna in your PVA bags. Wicked. Like good old Danny Fairbrass. That's where it's at, Cal. No, I like to be different, try different foods, Carl. Does he really look 16? He's been ID'd for petrol, so maybe. Oh, I like him. <laughs> you should buy him. Maybe he could come home with us. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Buy one. Buy one. You see, it's impossible for me to come to a pet shop without spending at least 15 to 25 minutes. Sometimes actually about three hours watching the fish. This is a really noticeable situation. We've got all these fish, like thousands of fish surrounding us, and they're so quiet and peaceful and nice. <laughs> and in this establishment, there's one dog and it won't shut up. <gasps> Wait, oh, up. the best book in the game. Oh, <gasps> they've got some in stock. Wow. Now you can't nick it. Cal. No. Oh, it's 1p cheaper here than it is on my website. Harry will have done that intentionally. 1p cheaper. Nice try, Harry. I'm gonna put mine down to 98p. Go to www.fishwithcarl.co.uk. Good book though. Right, we should get on with the filming. We're here to um, look at bait, making a carp bait tutorial today. I always make a plan for tutorials so I don't forget anything because I'm very forgetful. So, oh, particles, maize, tiger nuts, hemp. What's up, it's your boy, <laughs> Carl Smith, Fish with Carl, back with another tutorial. <laughs> here to show you some sick baits, some sick rigs that are gonna bag all the big boy scales in the lake, bro. Let's go. Cal has got the most exciting content we've ever shot. You wouldn't believe the footage that we've got today. Wow. Good. You're my product. Oh, I can be the ones, you know, where they like grease buns for you. ASMR. Do some maggots. Have you seen that? Have you seen that um, Instagram video where that woman's like. Badly. No. Oh, yes. Maggots. <laughs>
Oh no, Tom, you can't do- No! <laughs> it's gone! It just be in! Speed! Oh no, Michelle! Rude! Fair play, Tom, you deserve that. Do you see that? <laughs> That's the A button for acceleration. Tom came first as usual. Omi, you came third. Mm, a correct jump. No, fifth. I'm fifth. You're third. You're third. Oh, <laughs> I'll take that. Yoshi is my favorite character because when I look at it, it makes me think it's a newt. I'm gonna put the camera away now because we're about to enter Moo Moo Meadows, which is Tom's speciality. And <laughs> he's beaten me too many times on this track. So see you later, because I'm gonna concentrate. So, a couple of things have got to happen today. I need to export my video from France. That means take the finished film and put it onto YouTube and do all the other bits and pieces. Uh, turn it into an actual video. As well as this France video, I need to get my vlog channel ready. This means giving it like a logo. Font am I going to use for it? What colour scheme am I going to use for it? I want this vlog channel to look a little bit different and feel a bit different from the main channel so people don't get confused between the two types of content. Basically, that's about it. Also, the goldfish were spawning this morning. Spawning is when obviously the fish are chasing each other around and laying eggs and trying to make babies, but they've stopped now. Probably because I got my camera out and they got shy. Out in the garden, it's raining still. We have had relentless rain now for like five days, but it's making it look very green and lush. Thomas is just here. I think it's time to watch the France video three. That is the video done. Exporting. Then I can upload to YouTube and make a thumbnail. Dad's here. He's come to pick up some boxes. Be careful. It's okay though. Those are just boxes with tubes in. And those are the tubes that we sell the posters on the store within. So uh, needed to stock up because we were almost out. It worked. You did it. Hey, graphic design. Web design, graphic design, branding. It's my passion. I thought because it's my vlog channel, I should have a picture of me holding my camera. And then there's me and Omi with a fish I caught from Alan's wedding. Job done. Need to sort out this now. I was considering different colours, having like a little vlog camera in the corner of the logo, all sorts of ideas I had, but I think a switch of the colours in the old logo is enough. It separates the two channels, at least then you guys can see whether it's a vlog or if it's a main channel video. Well, I now officially have two YouTube channels, the one that you're watching this on and the main channel. Oh, and Fish and Tutorials, I have three. Crikey. This probably means more work, but I'm feeling very motivated and enthusiastic at the moment, so we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Saturday morning. The guy ahead of us is quite good, and we are not good. Well, what do you know? Alex got it on the green, and mine landed in the bushes. <laughs> No! Oh, Noddy. Cal, when you're editing this, just cut my first hit <laughs> no. to that shot. People will be really impressed. Does that mean we drew on the first one? Indeed. We've got the same. Thank you. Any mushrooms around here, sir? This is interesting. It's good, actually. It could be some chub down there. Where did that one go? Uh, that hit a tree. <laughs> is it on the green again? Yeah. Tell me that you've been down here practicing every day for the last month. I haven't, I promise. And you're just putting it on the green each time. Yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to do these vlogs is because I'm aware that I'm really obsessed with fishing. I would have brought a rod inside my golf bag and I'm really obsessed with filmmaking. So I do loads of those two things, but like not very much else. And Alex has really taught me that experiences in life are really important, trying new things, getting out of your comfort zone sometimes makes you a better person and can make you like, enjoy life more. So by having this camera and by filming and editing together these other side quests, I feel like I'm gonna be forced to do more stuff, actually get out and do things. Oh yes. Those guys over there just pinged one, passed Alex's noggin and it landed just there. <laughs> They've seen your channel and they think that 68 kilos of honey is a poor harvest. 
Jolly good game, Alex. Well done. Nice good to work. see you. Mmm. Fish poop. Wee. Cool. <laughs> No water spraying everywhere. I once did this when I was a kid with my little fish tank when I was a boy and connected it back up, but it wasn't sealed. So the little O-ring was like pinched and I left it thinking perfect, came back to my room and the tank was like there. And it all just strained out onto the carpet. I don't actually work with Awaza anymore, sadly. They were not very good at communication and very bad at paying me on time for my sponsorship work. But gosh, their products are good. Like really decent. I got this on this tank and I barely have to do anything with it. So I clean it every four months or something, three months. And then out in the pond, I've got the same. It's something about the Germans. They are efficient. They build things properly. Yeah, the kit's expensive. But it lasts. But it lasts and it works. Another good job well done. When Sunday came around, I was feeling a little burnt out. It had been an exciting few days with Tom and Cal, but now I was tired and not quite feeling my best. I was looking forward to going fishing for the night, but for now, Omi suggested we walk and look for cows. However, I wanted to spot some mullet. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to be here today. It all depends on the tide, but I get the feeling we're going to see a mullet at least. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> We'll have to find fish elsewhere. Cow. Would you call me? <laughs> well, me's quite easily pleased. Some high quality green grass and she's over the moon. This is exactly what I need Baby. on a day like today when I'm feeling a bit meh. Yeah. I'm tired, I'm a bit moody. I just want to sit and have some peace and feeding the fish peace. in the garden. It's exactly that. These fish need a bit more water though, I think, in their pond. <laughs> it's gonna swim under the rocks. Energy and motivation are two quite strange things. I don't know if you guys have the same situation as I do, but last week, everything seemed like an incredible opportunity. Everything was the best thing ever. And therefore my energy and motivation matched that. And then the last sort of three, four days, they felt like they've come crashing down. And this is not new, it's happened all, all all throughout my life and it probably happens through most people's lives as well but the difference this time is that you guys are seeing me on the down days as well as the up ones and I don't know how I feel about that I don't know sometimes whether people want to see people on their not so good days so this is a bit of an experiment next time you think your spot you're fishing is too shallow remember that I can't want to be there and there's food there <laughs> they don't seem to care about having water on their heads Thank you. The question is, is it gonna be spicy? My mouth's tingling. Isn't it beautiful? While wow, swimming that is. <laughs> it counts. Omi spotted these little je jumping jets of water, tiny little spurts of water appearing from the rocks and in these pools and I have no idea what is causing them. There again, another one. Unless it's a little animal that squirts water out for some reason. Oh gosh, vlogging. I don't know about this idea. I, I, I keep getting the camera out and thinking, right, say something interesting. Talk about things, tell, tell an exciting story. <laughs> And then I'm like, no, because I'm tired and I'm going fishing, which is great. But really, I want to put the camera away now, I think. Just go and get the rods out. And then I got to reel in early to get back home to get all the work done that we've planned for tomorrow. This place is so different from day to night. This whole area here is absolutely packed with people all day long and right now it's completely empty. I'm gonna go and have a little look and see if I can spot some fish around this no fishing area. It's amazing how much you can see with a head torch at night. And sometimes if you get lucky enough to see one, the fish don't even get that scared. 
of the light, as we were saying, there's one. Just spotted a cop. Hello, you. Kind of spooky though, being down here in the dark. And I'm also definitely in the zone where the fish should be now. All right, there's one. <gasps> That's it. That is it. Oh, crikey. That's the big common. That's the fish that I'm trying to catch. That's the fish that I've been targeting in this lake for a good while now. And it's just chilling down there. It's just so annoying that you're not allowed to fish this whole area because, oh my God, look at that. That is an absolute chunkosaurus. Do you see that carp? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That is a lump. No, I've had a treat this evening. I never see this many carp around this area. They are absolutely stacked up. The my swim is probably three, four, five hundred meters away, which is the closest you're allowed to fish to where these carp are. So I really should be actually heading down there right now. I'm going to get my rods out. No. Well, that is very annoying. I barely ever see people fish in that spot. And it's the only area on this lake that I have been pre-baiting and catching from. As someone else was fishing my pre-baited spot, I decided to head home. However, I was gonna be back soon for a six night session to celebrate my birthday. So look out for the next vlog. <laughs>